you have gone overweight, if I'm not mistaken, on uh, Chinese tech overnight. Tell us more. Well, basically, uh, we downgraded China equities about exactly a year ago, about mid-March. And since then, we've been recommending uh, investing in new energy in China as the overweight and underweight everything else. Um, now we are one year into the bear market in China. And Wednesday, you know, we have heard a very important piece of news that a senior official in the state council have indicated indirectly uh, they may pause from further regulatory reform. Obviously, the execution implementation of this message, uh, we have to see more. But the signaling suggests that uh, we may be going into a period where tech shares and platform-based companies uh, may have uh, some breathing room. And when we look at the Chinese equity market, valuation after the fall have become almost close to 10-year low just only two days ago. Even after the rebound, we still see valuation as attractive. Looking forward ahead, despite all the news you have mentioned about China, uh, the factory shutdowns and potential reopening, the COVID case is just slightly rising and the property problems that's still not gone away. Uh, but we have seen that equity markets have priced in sufficiently amounts of risk premium. And for us, uh, we are tipping our toes into this market because we do think valuation have reflected a lot of bad news. In the coming months, we are likely going to see more re-rating of the outlook uh, in China. And the earnings downgrade, no, no doubt, in the near term, will still be some downgrade coming through. Uh, but in the longer term, we think a lot of the risk is in the price. Uh, we think now is a good time to start overweight China. But you know, a lot of analysts told me the same thing in November last year, and money did not follow that call. So what convinces yeah. you that investors uh, will back this one? This yeah, we stepped, away, we stepped away for China by the dips in the last 12 times because we just didn't get enough sufficient indication from the authority that the uh, reform, which is very uncertain on what the next move is going to be, uh, have held us back. Now we've seen the official indication that this is happening. The official indication that we've been anticipating in March and April time is coming through after the two sessions. I think this is a very important message investor must notify and understand. And valuation, you know, despite near-term uh, concerns, um, have reflected of the, a lot of the bad news. Remember, the U.S. and European economies are still growing at a PMI of 58, uh, which is also supported drive of Chinese exports in the next in the outlook as long as the supply chain can remain, uh, I guess operating uh, that's part of the COVID situation we are in right now. Uh, we, we are hopeful of the situation going forward. It's going to be volatile, uh, but it's time right. to start dipping our toes in.